Back again right quick. I made it home. I was going to do this video while driving, but for some reason or another, I forgot. Uh, something interesting happened to me at work, and I'm going to use this segue to get to my point. I uh, had a woman call in. We had sent her something, um, a letter, and it had, her, of course, her phone number, the name and extension of her contact that she's supposed to talk to, her file number. And she was able to call us, get the phone number for the company, and call in. And she was able to get her file number off of it. But was completely baffled by the fact that the person she, she was supposed to be working to, the, uh, I guess, file manager, whatever you want to call him. I'm trying to be as nondescript as possible so no one knows who watches this will know where I work or what I do. What I do. But she couldn't, even though that the uh, name, phone number, uh, well, the same phone number, name, extension, and email for her go-to file manager it was all on that same sheet she got the company's phone number from. She could not understand wh who that was. I had to explain it to her. Let that sink in. We live in a country right now where someone in their early to mid-twenties is incapable of looking at a sheet of paper in their hand, process, read it, process the information on it, and make an intelligible decision doing that. Even though the information is there, it had to be spoon-fed to them. Let that sink in. Now for my next point, and this is what I was really has me steamed under my collar. I'm not a big sports fan, not going to lie. I was forced into it as a kid. I was bad at it. Got on the worst teams. The coaches treated us like crap. I, because of that, I got tired of being yelled at, cussed, and told how, as uh, the football, Little League football coach said, despicable we were. I got tired of it. I'm against sports now. I don't hold it against you unless you worship it. Mm, there's more important things in life than sports, trust me. But, there's a story I saw. I thought it was BS at first, and I actually did look for the Georgia Tech game. I forget who they're playing. Or Florida, Virginia Tech game. There is a sportscaster for ESPN. He's part-time. By the name of Robert Lee. And yes, I'm only pointing this out because it, I, there's a point to it. He is of Asian descent. Okay. And ESPN decided that it was best interest with everything going on right now over the Confederate statue thing. It was in everyone's best interest if Mr. Robert Lee did commentary on a different game because apparently he, Robert Lee is the same name as Robert E. Lee. Well, at least the first and last name. Of which, you know, the Confederate statues are centered around a lot of. Let that sink in. Because, you know, here in the United States, Robert is a fairly common name. Lee, I think, is one of the most common last names in the world. And when you're in, talking about people who are Asian, Lee is very common, very popular. So, someone who has two common names, a common first name and a common last name, just so happen to be combined in such a way that it uh, matches close to a historical figure that until six weeks ago, no one gave a flying flip about. They're making decisions about his career over that. In the name of sensitivity, tolerance, blah, blah, blah. All that hippy-dippy mumbo-jumbo. Bullcrap. Uh, let's, let's not even... I'm not even going to go on the whole statue thing. 
I have an opinion on all that. I'm not going to go there. What I'm going to focus on right now is this. We have gotten to the point as a country where in the name of tolerance, you can't be tolerant of someone's name, and it's a non-offensive name at all. You can't be tolerant of that. Anyone else have a problem with that? Does anyone else have a problem with people going around fighting in the name of peace, love, and tolerance by using belligerence, hate, and intolerance? Violence, hate, and intolerance? Anyone else have an issue with that? Because we're seeing a lot of it. Both sides of the aisle, truth be known. It's not just the evil white supremacists off right. The alt left is doing it, and Tifa or whatever they are, they're doing it. And everyone's, they claim they're doing what's best for the world. They're doing this, they're doing that, best for the country, whatever. How is it best for anyone? If you're going around beating the crap out of people, hurting people, destroying things, probably even killing people. How? Can you explain that to me? That's what we get. Peace, love, and tolerance in the name of violence, hate, and intolerance. Or by means of hate, of uh, violence, hate, and intolerance. It don't work like that. Anyway, I'm going to get off here later.